Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing the same outfit as the last video because I'm filming it back to back. But as many of you guys know from the title, I will be setting up my cage today for my new pet mouse that I'm getting. So this is the Preview Pet Small Animal Home with Platform. Got it on Amazon. It was like $65 or something like that. Pretty cheap. One of the cheapest enclosures I saw for how big it is. So I'm going to be setting it up and everything today. He will be in my animal room where my hermit crabs used to be. Like I said in the last video, I did post uh, on Instagram what happened to my hermit crabs. I don't really want to talk about it too much on here because I want to keep these videos positive, but my hermit crabs did pass away on my Instagram if you guys would like to read it. He's going to be going in the place of where my hermit crabs used to be. It was kind of a weird coincidence because right when they passed away, my friend contacted me and asked me if I could take in her mouse. So it was like a weird coincidence that it happened at the same time, but she contacted me and asked me if I could take him in because of what's happening in her life. And I gladly am taking him in for her because I have the space and the means to take care of him, so why not do it? So yeah, I will be setting this up today. I have all of the stuff just sitting around here. So let's just go ahead and head on over to the pet room. And actually I need to build this first and then I'll bring it into the pet room because my pet room doesn't have too much space to build stuff. So let's go ahead and build this, see how hard it is to build. And then we'll be putting everything inside of it. I do have like a wheel and a bunch of stuff in storage from a hamster that I'm going to be putting in this enclosure as well. I just need to get all of that out of storage because I haven't taken it out of storage since my hamster passed away. So I need to go get all of that as well. Sorry the lighting's bad and the sound's probably bad, I have a fan on. But now I'm going to make my food mix with these three ingredients. I'm just gonna put them in this food container. So um, I don't have a specific recipe or anything. Um, I'm kind of just looking on stuff online on like what portions to do and stuff. So I'm not gonna like tell you guys what I'm doing kind of like with my rat food. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm mixing these three foods together, putting them in here, and then I'll show you what I have with the enclosure right now. Right 
here is what I have so far. I know she has some stuff in her current enclosure that he's in, so there's gonna be more hides and stuff in there. And I also wanna get some like hanging bridges and stuff because mice actually do like to climb like rats do, but they also like floor space like hamsters. I'm going to get some more hanging stuff when I get paid next, but unfortunately right now I wasn't really planning for another animal, so I can't get all of the things I really want, but this is what we have so far. So what I did is the spaces that seemed a little big, I zip tied together. So like these corner bits and stuff like that. So every corner is zip tied just in case. It doesn't really seem that big, but anyway. And then it has a door in the front right here that pulls open like this. So we have bedding. I don't know how many inches. I definitely filled it up a lot. Got the bridges. I have the silent runner wheel that I used to use for my hamster. The space pod up here. Then up here I have the little hidey hole and I shoved some Care Fresh in there. I'm also gonna shove some toilet paper in there. Then I put some Care Fresh up here too. I'm going to be putting the food bowl probably up here, but I'm also going to be scatter feeding. So I'm gonna have a food bowl too, just in case to make sure that he's eating. So yeah, that closes shut and then you put that to close it. So it's completely locked so it can't be pushed from the inside. And there's also a door up here and it doesn't seem super sturdy, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't think a mouse would be able to push it open considering it's kind of hard for me to pull open, but it definitely feels cheap right here, so I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> definitely feels a little bit cheap, but I mean, I guess it was super cheap. But the carrier up here and then over here, we have our food mix that I made and also my air purifiers right there as well. So that's all I have right now in preparation of getting him tomorrow. I don't know all of the stuff that he's coming with, so I can't be too sure that he's coming with like everything that he needs, but I'm pretty sure she's just giving me everything that is his. So we'll see what he comes in. I know he's currently in a tiny tails like stacked home. So yeah, I can't wait to get him. And that's his little enclosure. I think it looks really, really cute. And I really like the way it came out. I guess I forgot to mention that I moved stuff around just to make it look a little bit nicer. So we have Bowser here and he's been watching the TV. And then Crested Gecko moved the rats over here. And I actually think it fits the area pretty nicely. I mean, I need to like clean the area cause it's all, it's all messy over here right now. But, and the guinea pigs, you know, just being themselves, so I'm so excited. Hey guys, it's the next day and I am going to pick up Dale in two hours from now. So I'm just prepping everything, getting everything ready. I'm basically just going to be bringing that little carrying tote and that's pretty much it for him. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure she's just gonna keep him in that tiny tails home and I'll probably just drive him home in that, but I'm gonna bring the carrier just in case. It's a really rainy, thunderstormy day. It's been thunderstorming for the past week. The exchange is probably gonna be super fast because it literally will not stop raining. So yeah, I always get super, super anxious before picking up an animal and I do have anxiety, so that's probably just the reason, but my anxiety goes through the roof when I have to go pick up an animal. So I'm really anxious right now. Everything's gonna be fine, but yeah. So for Mr. Dale, I have his little carrier ready just in case he needs to go inside of it. I'm not putting the little water bottle in there just because it's just a 10 minute drive back home. Uh, I'm not traveling too far to go get them, but if it was like an hour long ride, I would definitely put the water bottle in there. But yeah, I just put some of his bedding in here so he can dig underneath it and feel safe if he needs to go in here. But yeah, I like how they put a little warning right here that says this product is to be used as a temporary pet carrier and not intended as a permanent home. I really like that they put that in there. It shows that they actually care about what their pets are in because there's some people that would probably look at this and be like, wow, a perfect home for my hamster. This is so cute though. I love it. And by the way, these two brands, um, the one that I use for my guinea pigs and also the one that I use for my mouse is by the same brand. It's this brand right here. So if you just want to look that brand up on Amazon, there's a bunch of little carriers that will pop up and they're just really, really great quality. Okay guys, I am on the way to go pick up the mouse. I have his stuff there. I also have the guinea pig stuff there because I'm also getting a guinea pig. So that's in a future video, but I have secured the mouse. He's so like active and everything like already. As you can see, he has a little wheel, food bowls. He has little hides up here and stuff. Hey guys, I just got back home. Excuse my messy hair. I was wearing a wig cap and once I put that wig cap on, my hair is crazy. And I'm also super sweaty because it's like 100 degrees outside. There's also like 70% of humidity in the air. So when you walk outside, you literally feel like you cannot breathe. It is so 
annoying. He is in a Tiny Tails home. As you can see, he has a little water bottle. Yeah, he has a little wheel, some tubing, some hides. He's at the top up here. He's in the little tube. I don't know if you can see him, but he's a vibey little guy. Like he was like riding in the car, just eating his food. Like he was being so cute. I don't really know his temperament. I don't know how he is. I am a new person, new smell. So I'm probably just going to scoop him up in this little measuring cup and then just put him in the enclosure. I'm not gonna mess with him too much for right now because I just want him to get used to his new enclosure. And I do want to find a way to attach this tiny tails maybe to the top of this enclosure to make it like a little bit bigger. So maybe I could try to find out a way to do that. I feel like I could just zip tie this to the top of this door. I feel like I would be able to do that, but I don't know. That might be too of much of a hassle to clean and stuff, so we'll see. But yeah, he's just like sitting in the top up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put his new stuff in here and then put him inside so we can get some good videos and pictures of him because he's so small. Oh my gosh, okay, I finally got him in here. It literally took 30 minutes just to like coax him out of the enclosure he has now because I was so nervous of like him getting loose or something. He's going in the wheel already. Yeah, he's in there. You probably can't see him running around very much. He has this little Heidi home that she had with him. So I'm just gonna put his old stuff in here. I put some of his old bedding in here too so he didn't feel like too overwhelmed or anything like that. And shove that in there. And I'll also put this little wheel in here too. Maybe like right here, so he can run on both of them. He's already running around in the wheel. Look at him. Exploring. He's so small. He loves this wheel. He keeps going to it. So yeah, he has little food bowls. I just went ahead and put those back in there. She was feeding the same food that I am going to be feeding. But yeah, I shoved like his little hidey home and everything. I'm gonna get him more stuff when I get paid again. Look, he's already chewing stuff. <laughs> just like my hamster did that I had. Just wanted to escape 24 seven. I'm definitely gonna watch him the next like hour or so and see if there's like any escape routes he found or anything like that. But I think we're gonna be good. I think he's big enough not to fit through the little gaps. He's already going up to the top. We're thinking about it at least. He's so adventurous, I love it. <laughs> He's just like running around in circles. He's like, I don't know what to do. Look at him going at it. This wheel is so silent too, like you can barely hear him running. My hamster loved this thing so much, so I'm so glad that I can have another rodent to love it as well, cause I miss my hamster and he literally ran in this like all night. So it is the next day and I got some more mouse decor to put inside of his enclosure. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and then I'll show uh, what it looks like in the enclosure. So I got this wooden bridge. It's from the same brand as the other little wooden bridges I got. And it hooks to the side of the enclosure with these little hooks so it can just like hang. And then I got this little rope hammock. Comes with the hooks too. It does have a very strong smell, but this would be cool for rats as well. I might buy another one, uh, a couple of them to put in my rat enclosure because I feel like they would really like this. And you just hook it kind of like another bridge. So these are really great for rats and for mice. And then I got this little set full of things. First we have this little hanging bed. It's so cute. This would be good for hamsters too, for sure. Even though hamsters don't really climb. My old hamster climbed. 
all the freaking time, but some people, you know, they're not supposed to climb. And then we have this little hanging bridge thing. I like the colors in it. This is like the first colorful thing I have in the enclosure because most of the stuff is kind of natural looking. So this is really cute. I think this little fluffy bed thing is actually supposed to be inside of here as like a little bed. But I read that like mice and hamsters aren't supposed to like really have stuff like this. So I'm not too sure. I think it's mainly just hamsters. And then we have another bridge and this one is colorful. And once again, and hangs from the side of the enclosure. So let's go put all of these new ropes and bridges in there and see if he likes them. He's still sleeping right now, but we'll see if he'll come out and play with them. Okay guys, so this is Mr. Dale's enclosure and I finally have it to how I want it. I will eventually probably add more like canopies and beds and stuff to the enclosure as well. But last night I added some hay for him um, and he's been using it to borrow. Oh, there he is, good morning. He always comes out when he hears me talk and he actually really likes being pet as well. He's a very, very sweet boy. Um, but I gave him some hay and he used it and he would pull it into his little hidey home over there. He's been using that little hidey home as his, you know, little area to put all of his stuff. So here he is, here's the sweet little man. and. He He's been making little burrows, as you can see why the bedding is all in different like little piles and stuff. He's been burrowing and just making his little holes and everything. He also really likes this. He's been shoving things inside of here as well. I really like this thing too. I think it's really nice. And he's gone in this a couple times. I have not seen him grow across the bridges yet. I don't know if he's like too scared or not, but I do want to eventually get it on camera. So I'll try to post it on my Instagram if he does do it eventually. And yeah, here's him drinking out of his water bottle and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My camera is about to die, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out my channels and my Instagram down below where I update you guys on my pets. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.